Yo, what's up guys? Toby here back with another video and today we're gonna be taking a look at dual graphics cards and its benefits and disadvantages, some benchmarks and some facts. So let's get into it. So I got this question when I built my new computer because I have a GTX 1070 Strix from ASUS but I also got this KFA2 slash Galax 1070 for review. And the question that came up in my mind was, can you put in two different GPUs, and I mean different in as different GPU vendors, and can you run them in SLI without any special disadvantages? So I did some research and it turns out that you can actually run two GPUs or more of the same core, but you cannot run two different GPUs that have different cores. Although you can actually do that if you run Crossfire with AMD cards, in that case uh, you have to run cards within the same series. So for example, if you have an RX 480 and you get maybe a 470, you can run both of those in Crossfire. So at least when it comes to NVIDIA GPUs, both cards of which you are running, if they have different base and boost clocks, uh, they will both run at the slower card's boost and base frequency. But if you happen to have two cards with ample cooling, like these two, it's not an issue because both of the cards will boost pretty high on their own. But do keep in mind that if you maybe have one card with a blower style cooler and one with the fans instead, the blower style cooler is probably going to run a lot hotter and therefore the boost frequency will be lower on both cards. So these two cars, of which I have, uh, they both got up to about 1967 megahertz frequencies in SLI mode, uh, but on their own, they both got around 50 megahertz above 2000 and below. So they are still very fast. So with the basic information out of the way, let's first take a look at the individual benchmarks of these two cards. So when comparing Firestrike between these two, there were just a 10 point difference, which is like nothing. So in that case, they both have basically the same performance. In Time Spy DX12, it's just a 30 point difference, which still is not noticeable in performance. So we'll just leave that out. In Skydiver, however, uh, the KFA2 slash Galax got 1,000 more points, uh, but the total score is 56,000, so that's 1,000 in 56, which is still not a lot. In CSGO though, however, the benchmarks were running on two different maps, uh, the Strix 1070 was running on Nuke, while the KFA2 was running on Dust2, which explains the pretty drastic difference in performance. In terms of temperatures and noise and boost speeds, the KFA2 was not very loud at all and got up to 70 degrees while gaming and it boosted up to 20-35 megahertz. The Strix 1070 was not loud either but did actually run 3 degrees hotter and therefore it also boosted a small bit lower than the KFA2, but I do think these temperature differences come out because I did do the benchmarks on two different days, and the day of testing the Strix 1070, the ambient temperature was a lot higher because the sun was out, and we don't see that much sun in Sweden. So with the individual benchmarks out of the way, let's uh, take a look at the SLI benchmarks. So in Firestrike we got a pretty much double performance boost, which is great, but it's still a benchmarking test which is designed uh, to take advantage of SLI, but not many games actually do that, so the actual gaming performance is the more important factor here. In Battlefield 4 we did see a pretty big boost, from 147 average FPS to 183, which is pretty decent but still not double the speed. Don't know if you can see that, but it's a video notification from Casey Neistat. The vlog is back, yes. Anyway, let's get back into the, the benchmarks. 
So in Overwatch, we did not see a very big boost whatsoever, just a couple FPSs here and there. So this time SLI, not really worth it. In CSGO, we did not see a boost either. We, we actually saw a decline in performance on the same map as well, Nuke. Uh, so that was weird. In Borderlands, the pre-sequel, we also did not see a boost whatsoever. We actually saw a decrease in performance. So yeah, these numbers are quite interesting and in my opinion, um, SLI is not worth it. If you want to spend so much money on two graphics cards, you do have a better bet of just spending more for the better graphics card. Uh, two 1070s cost almost the same as one Titan X, so in my opinion, just get the Titan X here. But yes, to answer my individual question, Yes, you can run two uh, different graphics cards in the same system as long as they have the same GPU core. So yeah, that's the video. I hope you guys got some kind of useful information. And if you did, please click that like button down below and also comment down below what you guys think of SLI. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.